Happy New Year guys and welcome back to my channel. This is my first video this year and in a very long time actually, like maybe a couple of weeks. But the holidays always take out a lot of me and you know I had a couple of family stuff going on so I have been a little MIA from YouTube in general and with traveling and everything the past couple of months I was just kind of winding down and now I'm trying to get myself back into the schedule. But um, as just a couple of points, yes, my background is different. I have new lighting, like things are, I'm trying to get everything back. Um, God, these lashes are so heavy, I can't even deal. Um, I'm trying to get back into the groove of like trying to figure out my lighting. So um, please excuse me if my next couple of videos would be a little wonky. I decided to do background, um, I guess, uh, backdrops like for review videos or like tutorials just so I can make it easier to focus on what I'm talking about instead of like my super busy background of like my vanity area and stuff like that. When it comes to talking videos I don't mind having my vanity area um, as the background and, and please excuse me like I just took this out of the package I was supposed to make it wait um, so the wrinkles can come out but you know it's just been one of those filming days so I'm trying to get into the loop anyway I'm going to do a first impression today so why not do something you know totally new for the new year and I have so many new products over the holidays and stuff like that on the insta matte lipstick transformer from smash smash box um, if anyone knows me at all personally or even just watching my channel you guys know I am matte everything matte foundations matte lipsticks matte everything like so there are a few lipsticks that I own um, that are creamy or just like um, a sheen formula whatever whatever but the colors are really pretty so I bought them even though I don't use them as frequently and I was super excited to see this um, I have never used this before but I'll read you the back it says Give your lipstick a matte makeover instantly. This gel transforms any cream lipstick into a comfortable matte finish. To use it, you have to apply generously over cream lipstick using finger until a matte look is achieved. FYI, not for use with glosses, lacquers, or balms. Which is like half my collection. So this literally only means lipstick, like cream lipstick. Um, and I only have a few of those. One of The, the one I'm going to use today is the NYX High Voltage Lipstick. Um, which looks like this. I did, I'm almost positive I did a video on this um, on my channel so I will link that down below when I find it but um, I really do like these lipsticks they are very like not shiny but they are they look, do look creamy so um, I wanted to use this one and because it's like a nude that I really really like but it's so shiny almost that it just makes me look like too much um, so I'm gonna apply that first Okay, so as you can see, this color, like, I could probably use year-round as, like, a highlight color in the middle of, like, any other lipstick, but because it's so shiny, it just looks so summery. <laughs> um, so let's see if this, like, tones it down. Um, it doesn't say anything about last, like, long-lasting. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to, like, reapply this over and over again so it says apply with your finger um, until the matte look is achieved so let's see what this looks like oh so it's a clear gel and this is pretty let's see oh wow okay okay oh wow this is so cool I do feel a little tingliness I don't, I don't know if you're supposed to. There is no order. I'm going to just wait a couple of minutes, but I do feel tingling, which is a little discerning. I don't know if it's supposed to like, like I feel my lips are kind of numb. Okay. And um, it doesn't feel cracky or anything. So let's just wait a second or two. I can tell you though that the color like automatically just went up a notch because that's that shininess went away but my lips are super numb <laughs> um i don't really know how i feel about that okay so while it's like drying or whatever um this is i'll just talk about the product it's 24 dollars. it retails for i bought mine at sephora i don't know if it's available i don't think smashbox is in ulta i can't even remember but it's 24 dollars at sephora and it comes with 0.34 fluid ounces and it's supposed to be a gel consistency, which it is. It's a very clear gel. Um, 
right off the bat, I'm, I already know that like if you guys have a lot of lipsticks you're planning to use with this, um, you're going to use a lot of product just because it took me, I mean, for how much I used, it took me like that much. So this is a pretty skinny tube. Um, it might be gone super fast if you're someone who wears a lot of like cream lipsticks and want to transform them. On the pro side though, you're going to have, you know, two lipsticks per cream lipstick. You're going to have a matte and you're going to have a cream lipstick, which I think is economic um, if you like the color too. Um, I guess for my first, like right off the bat, the only con that I have is just that it tingles my lips, but now that it's been about mm, two minutes or so, the tingling is gone. And the lipstick doesn't look completely matte, but the description says that it turns into a velvety matte, which in other words is demi matte. Um, so I think it is pretty spot on to its description. It's not completely matte. I still have a little bit of shine on the top lip. Um, and I use the same amount of product on both. I use like a little dollop thing like on top and bottom. There is no... Um, it honestly just feels like chapstick now. Like to be honest. Like that kind of consistency of where you wear a lot of like balms. That's what it feels like. And it's not moving my lipstick in any way. Like it's not um, feathering or anything like that. I don't know how long this is supposed to last, but because I don't see it, um, that effect of like chalking and stuff like that or like cracking, it's not a matte lipstick. I foresee this not lasting as long as like an actual um, lip paint or um, liquid lipstick or something like that. That's supposed to be like matte and long lasting. So I wouldn't bank more than three hours on this. But um, I will definitely wear this for a while and let you know how it goes. But for right now, I am pleasantly surprised. I did not think something like this would ever come on the market. <laughs> but now I'm kind of happy that I did buy it because this like changes the game for me for all those freaking lipsticks that I don't really use because it's not matte. Okay, so final thoughts. I think this is an awesome product for what it does. The description is spot on. It does give me a velvety matte finish. Um, it doesn't feel uncomfortable except for the tingling sensation that I told you about but that lasted about maybe two minutes and when it comes to transfer it does help with um, like the transfer that's one I think an added bonus that they don't have in the description because normally this lipstick would 100% transfer and it's not right now like it's very minimal so I think that's an added bonus on that so I say pick it up if you want to experiment with your collection and try to give your collection more. Especially if you're a makeup artist, I think um, instead of traveling with like mattes and creams and everything, like just bring this and a whole bunch of cream lipsticks and you're good to go. Um, so yeah, that is it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.